They are meant to be mobile, but a proposed development could make a stationary new home for the city's food trucks as part of what would be Nashville's first food truck park. News Channel 5's Chris Conti is live in Wedgwood, Houston, where, Chris, this idea is really taking shape. And Rory, this giant empty lot is about to become 90 apartments. Same old story Nashvillians are used to. But developers want this to be something else, an idea that has worked in other cities across the United States, a permanent place of sorts for food trucks to put it in park. I'm about to sell some pizza. Under the shadow of the Tennessee Tower today, Hello. it was just as hot inside Cranky's Pizzeria. Uh, the floor will in this oven tends to get pretty hot. As it was outside. A lot of regulars come by, like Ashley here. Oh, I am <laughs> pretty much here every Tuesday getting a pizza. And although regulars know where to find them, this food truck is constantly on the move. This is a good spot. Um, seems to be pretty consistent. It's not that owner Jim Garbin minds being mobile, but more often than not, he finds that like a perfectly made pizza, his profits will rise when surrounded by other food trucks. Events definitely have more uh, of a built-in crowd, obviously, so there's a lot more business there. You can imagine, then, why these guys are fired up over a new plan to create a semi-permanent home for the city's food trucks. Well, I think you could spend more time there. You could probably sell more. It's very preliminary right now. The idea comes from Andrew Beard's group, Core Development. They own this six-acre lot off Merritt Street in Wedgwood, Houston, and think it would be a perfect spot for a food truck park. I think the food trucks are looking for more consistency in terms of where they are um, parking their trucks and doing business. 16 trucks would be able to park here. They'd likely have water hookups and electrical hookups. There would be picnic tables and possibly live music. On a daily basis, the trucks rotating through. So it's an idea Jim hopes doesn't just drive away. I hope it happens. I hope it's well done. Food truck operators would essentially have to lease the spaces here out, paying a small fee for that. They would be able to operate here from 11 in the morning until 10 at night. We are live in the Wedgwood, Houston neighborhood this evening. Chris Conti, News Channel 5 HD.